Oh, you're getting stronger as you fight. I love it. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Gibbon here today with some more Destiny 2, some more competitive plays for you. I hope you're doing well. In the background, you're just watching me in shortbread, just have a go at some competitive stuff. And I'm slowly starting to make improvements. I think one of the things that I've noticed about playing competitive is that it's a completely different play style, I think anyways, to when you actually play quick play. Now, for example, in quick play, you can kind of be a little bit more of a lone hero kind of thing. Whereas with competitive, you need to kind of do your bits and pieces, at least in a pack of two, I would suggest. Possibly, maybe. That would be what I would recommend. Just purely from the basis of that if you go off by yourself, you're going to find out, particularly when you're playing games like Survive, that you're just going to give your lives up consistently all the time. In terms of what I've kind of got round to running on sort of a more regular basis weapons that i'm finding work for me really well in this game in particular i was using breakneck and i was using claws of the wolf and also warcliffe coil because i'm trying to do the uh, the master work for it so or, or whatever it is that it is so it gets the tracking on it as well but obviously you saw at the beginning bit where um i took the flag by force and just it just fun but you're going to see the warcliffe coil do some shenanigans in this as well so this game in the background and the game that we played after it we actually played against the full stack now shortbread and i went in as a two and then we had i think just two randoms but we played against the full clan um and we slapped them in this one and we slapped them in in the other game after that now again i am still going to stress this i am not a good competitive player we just hit a good patch where pretty much even though we were working as two twos or maybe a two and, and two ones the team was actually working quite well together in terms of the way that we were doing stuff nobody was kind of left out in the cold everybody kind of worked really well so for me i can see little improvements i am not going to talk about the fact that i got an overwarped around a fucking wall then but there's little improvements that are being made when i'm playing competitive in terms of communication your whole line of communication has to be completely different as well um and it does matter about the types of guns that you actually use now obviously with breakneck you've got um the onslaught perk on it i think it's called onslaught and you've also got the um the kill clip with it uh, rampage sorry so as you kill it grants more damage and with onslaught it shoots at a higher level as well so it's just making sure that you've got the right weapons that do the right sort of thing with you i don't know why i use claws of the wolf in this game i genuinely don't know it just turned out that way that that's what i was using nine times out of ten i will use something probably like breakneck and trust but i figured that i would try a bit of a pulse rifle just for what a grenade that was as well by the way right on the guy's head um i just thought that i would use um claws of the wolf in this one just to see if it did anything and it, and it worked out all right i'm not i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna complain it was good and 
Say it very, very quietly, ladies and gentlemen, but I am enjoying competitive. Now, the thing with competitive, you cannot expect to go into competitive and absolutely beast all over everybody straight away, because that is just physically impossible. If you're used to just playing quick play or you're used to just playing PvP, it takes time. You are going to get your ass handed to you. And there are going to be occasions when you're on that four streak trying to get the five win streak and you come up against a team that is simply just better than you and you have to take the rough yes we all rage with games yes we all get annoyed when we play games and we get frustrated that things aren't going the way that they thought they were going to go and all of that kind of stuff but the important thing is is that you look at what's going on you take it stress about it move on to the next game because the next game is where the next win's going to come from it's that simple you just have to take your time with it and you just have to put in the effort to get better practice and change your play style now is competitive absolutely amazing no the matchmaking sucks the way that it puts you into lobbies absolutely sucks the way that four stacks can back out as soon as they see that they're going to come up against another four stack or a three stack sucks but it is enjoyable once you get into it and once you have a little bit of fun with it at the same time as well that's going to do it for this one ladies and gentlemen i do hope you've enjoyed it hopefully you can see little improvements that i'm making if you have enjoyed the video please don't forget to click the like button if you're new to the channel please also don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching and i really appreciate you being here and we're out of here peace